Hello, friends and family. It's only been five ever since I did a video on my IRL vlogs. Um, so I've been busy. I know I sound kind of congested. I am a little bit sick. I think I am getting over a small cold. So that'll go away eventually. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, also, you might hear a slight change in my tone because um, I was at work and I took my lunch break and I decided to have a bagel and one of my crowns came off in the bagel. So now I have a very open tooth. <laughs> so it hurts to kind of talk because my tongue moves against that and it scratches it so it's actually kind of painful. Um, that's totally why I'm deciding to do a vlog to suffer all the way through essentially. Um, and I can't stop licking it which is even worse because now my tongue is going to be raw from licking the sharpness of my tooth. But anyways. Um, so. I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. Uh, I got a raise this new year. Yay! Um, so that's great. Uh, I am still working at the same place, which is Spring Clean Laundry, which is a laundromat here in Colorado Springs. It's a 10 minute drive from where I'm at, so it's very close, very convenient. Uh, I am working on website stuff, I'm doing social media. So there's not just being an attendant uh, at the actual store location. I am also helping run the laundromat, which is actually a corporate company that we own now. And it's pickup and delivery service. So I'm doing deliveries and picking up laundry, bringing them back. If I have time to wash them, dry them, fold them, great. Otherwise, somebody else does it. So it's pretty good. It's really awesome teaching uh, some of the girls, the other attendants, how to use the system and the technology. It's very fun. Um, so works good. Um, most of you might have gotten my letters. Uh, I sent out personalized uh, newsletters for the new year and just letting you guys know how work is, school is. Um, I was going to say I could pull that up and then I realized, oh wait, it's on my phone. Um, I don't really want to recap that, but just in case you guys aren't signed up for that. So if you did get a letter, shame on you for not messaging me that you got it. Common courtesy. You could message me and at least tell me, hey, thanks for the letter. Thanks for thinking about us. Like, what's the point of me spending that much on a stamp? and getting no appreciation for it. Honestly, I thought about it this year. I was like, you know, I would save so much money not sending these letters or even sending via email, but some people just don't have email anymore. They don't even check it. So I'm like, you know, and plus it's really nice. It's a great feeling to be sent a letter that is not a bill or junk mail. And it's a personalized letter from someone you know, a friend or family. And it's really nice to open that and be like, oh, they're doing this and this. Hey, do you, you remember Tabitha? Yeah, she's she's doing photography now. Do you know that? She's actually, look at these pictures. She's really good at it. Like, it would be really nice if I got a thank you or if I got a text saying, hey, got your letter. I know that's partially my fault because I did not <laughs> put my number in there. I'm sorry. But I mean, my phone number has not changed. I have the same Facebook. I have the same handles for everything else. So I'm not that hard to find. I mean, I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. I just wish people would say, hey, got your letter, thanks. Like even that, it's like, yay. <laughs> also, it lets me know that you're still alive. Um, so, that's just one thing. Uh, I mentioned in my letter that I have a dog and a cat, and I've been babysitting other pets, but I do actually have tarantulas. 
So in other news, uh, with me getting my raise and um, insurance changing, I now have a actual health insurance. It's I think like 300 something a month, but um, my boss essentially covers the cost of it through his of whatever company thing. So I don't essentially pay for it and I'm covered, which is great. Um, and then yesterday, it was my whole tooth thing going on. I went ahead and spent less than $200 and just got a dental plan, which is going to help substantially with the pricing of that. Um, so yay for adulting! I hate it! Um, I've been trying to get back into reading. I've been really bad about reading and writing lately. I just haven't made time to do it. Half the time I get home, I'm so exhausted, I just want to either eat, watch Netflix, lay down, and just go to sleep. I don't want to do anything. Sometimes I'll sit in front of my computer and just watch YouTube. Like, I know I could be doing other more productive things, but you know what sounds really good right now? Doing nothing! <laughs> so, I just... I, I want to read more. I'm trying. Uh, I've been taking my books occasionally with me to work, and then I sit there on my lunch breaks and I read. Um, plus, that also keeps me from eating a lot, um, so that when I get home, I can have an actual meal. But if I want something to snack on, my lunch hour is a good time to snack, essentially. Um, so there's that. Uh -huh. I don't want to make this video too long because I doubt anybody is really going to watch it. Um, so, uh, living arrangements are great. I always want to find something cheaper, but nothing is as spacious as this or cheaper. So, I think we're going to stay here for quite a while. So, if I do send letters or you do have my address, it's because. I'm not moving anytime soon. I can't afford to. If I have to, I'm going to live in my car. Might have to get a truck. <laughs> um, so yeah, not moving anytime soon. My address is not changing anytime soon. My phone number should not be changing anytime soon. So um, that shouldn't be a problem. If somebody does not have my current address, message me. I will give you my current address. Everybody should have it because I just sent letters to directly everybody. Nobody replied! Bastards! <laughs> uh, I have deducted that I am officially allergic to pot. I have been having really bad migraines uh, due to one of my other teeth has been issuing problems because of a bad filling so it needs a root canal and I didn't have any hydrocodones and the prescription wasn't ready yet so I ended up getting my friend who's fairly familiar with making uh, pot butter or whatever uh, made a loaf of bread and she said she dumbed it down and I ate it, and I got sick, and I threw up, and it was very unpleasing. And to anybody who ever says, oh, you just don't have the right strand, you can go f yourself. Because I've tried. I've seriously given it a thought and tried, but I just can't. I If I do edibles, they taste disgusting, they kind of work, but it still makes me feel sick. So... It pulls the pain away, which is great, but then I feel sick. So as much as people are like, yay, 420, I'm just like, yay. I'm like, yay, hydrocodone and Vicodin. <laughs> um, on photography, I went back to my school and I went to my tech zone club that me and a couple friends had put together for the school to teach coding, just as like a club activity for college, essentially. I'd also help me with my classes, not gonna lie. Um, 
but went back to that and they were doing a tour at a 3D print shop, which was awesome. Seeing those giant printers and printing huge sets of material was just amazing and phenomenal. Uh, it was a lot of fun and um, got a lot of pictures. I'm probably not going to have any up here, but they will be on my Facebook eventually, I promise. I just have to go through and actually edit them and upload them whenever I have time or make time. Ah. And then the solar eclipse red wolf moon the other night. I got a couple of good pictures. Um, I'm really disappointed I didn't bring my tripod, which would have helped a lot. Just forgot. And then I really want a bigger lens for my Canon to take those type of detailed photos. But that costs money, and I'm not spending money. I'm not allowed. I'm telling myself I'm not allowed. Or that I just don't have money. It's imaginary. I don't have money. You don't have money. You can spend money. You can't do that. <laughs> You have to sell stuff before you can spend stuff. <laughs> so, gotta be good, don't spend me money. Um, a huge shout out to my Aunt Jody and Uncle Jim because they sent me a like Christmas check and I was able to get one of the books that I really, 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 really wanted. Um, for this past year on helping with my mental health. So thank you so much. I'm so excited to read this book. I have not started it yet, but I've been looking at it every day and I'm thinking about starting it sooner rather than later. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, I know I don't really answer phone calls because I'm always at work. Uh, time zones is another thing that really messes up trying to talk to people and I'm just so tired all the time when I get home. But tonight, I'm so tired and then my, my tooth. <laughs> ah. June's gonna be exciting. I was trying to plan something for my actual birthday this year. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but I'm keeping an open mind, I'm trying to be optimistic, but we'll see what happens. Alright, apparently I need to go to bed because I can't stop yawning. So, I'm going to call it a night. I love you all. You're all amazing, even if you don't tell me that you get my letters like a cool person would do. But apparently, nobody's as cool as I am. <sighs> Jeez. Um, so I love you. Hope you all have a wonderful day.